We are here with former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, future WWE Hall of Famer, and now New York Times best-selling author, Daniel. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. Daniel Bryan, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Right, so we've got some uh, community questions here from Twitter. We've got Nicholas McClymont saying, thoughts on Finn Balor? Uh, I think Finn Balor is excellent. Um, like, I think he's entertaining. I love his entrance when he comes out as, like, the demon. Even without that, he's a phenomenal wrestler and uh, just a, a great personality. And from our neck of the woods as well. So, so great to see so many people from the UK, Ireland area now. Like, you know, top stars in WWE. King of the Ring final. Two Brits. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And Neville, to me, Neville is awesome. And he's, he's making Raw a lot of fun because he's doing stuff nobody's ever seen before. So... Yeah, that's great. The Terminator trailer, you were fantastic in it. How much fun was that? Uh, it was, um, it was fun. It was, uh, it was just kind of surreal. And one of the things that Brie points out to me, and everybody in WWE pointed out to me, is I've never drank in my entire life. And they said it was so weird to see me sitting there with a beer, and like <laughs> I was, co I was convinced. <laughs> yeah, it was like, and Brie was like, "That's exactly what you'd look like if you if you were just a bar guy. You just sit there, <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah." It was fun. What did you think of your match with Roman Reigns? And would you want a rematch on a bigger stage in the future? Yeah, I was I was actually very happy with my match with Roman Reigns, even though I lost. Um, so a lot of times I judge uh, my matches by if they were creatively fulfilling for me. And when I came to the back, I felt very creatively fulfilled with that match, even though I lost. Like, I would have loved to have beat him and then gone on to main event WrestleMania again. But, uh, but it didn't happen. And so, it, you know, you have to accept the wins with the losses and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but I was very happy with it. Your outing in this mania though was phenomenal as well, so I hope you're proud of that too. Yeah, yeah. Not as good as last year's, but <laughs> but still all right. We lost uh, Hall of Famer and all-round legend Rowdy Roddy Piper. Do you have any favorite hot rod memories? I was in Portland wrestling when I was on the Independence, and Roddy Piper was a big Portland wrestling guy, and so he was helping this new version of Portland wrestling. And so it was me, um, a guy I don't remember, and Tony Kazina, who was big on the independent scene at the time, specifically in the Northwest, and Roddy Piper was a part of it. And we were like the three good guys, and Roddy Piper was kind of probably like, you see these guys, you see these guys, we got the American Dragon, we got this guy right here, and we got, uh, and it was Tony Kazina, and he goes, ah, oh, we got Joey, we got Joey right here, Joey's just the best. You see, Vince, they don't want your money. And it's just like kind of this problem how we don't want to go to WWE. Uh, I just actually, <laughs> actually you, you didn't talk to us about that before you said that. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he was just he was just such a great character. And like, I got to do a Piper's Pit with him, which was awesome. Yeah. This year's WrestleMania was really cool because I, I did a, a thing backstage where all these legends kind of came up and congratulated me as the Intercontinental Champion. And Roddy Piper was one of them. So... Um, yeah, it's just really cool. Would you ever have a match against your mentor, Shawn Michaels? Please say yes. Uh, I would love to wrestle Shawn Michaels. Would Shawn Michaels love to wrestle me? Probably not. I think he's too busy hunting. He's, he doesn't want to come out of hunting just to, <laughs> just to get a loss on his record there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he wouldn't want that. So I thought the question was going to be, would you ever have a match against Bree? And I would be like, hmm. If I did, I'd probably have to throw that one and just be like, oh, okay, uh, oops, and let her win. It, it depends just how fierce the argument was yeah. you know, <laughs> over, the, over the house cleaning, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, it's got to be sorted in a cage, yeah. a steel cage. Well, and if it's anything like our arguments at home, she would win, so. <laughs> well, it's been amazing getting to talk to you and just, uh, you know, on behalf of the fans, you know, we all love you, we all miss you, you know, whenever you get taken out for injuries it's it's heartbreaking so we wish you the best and we can't wait to see you back in the ring soon thank you very much thank you